too far. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I really wanted to start this new series on YouTube this year focused all around manicures. I love doing my own nails. I love trying new products. I love talking about nail products. It's kind of how my blog started way back when. So I want to start bringing a lot of my content back to that because that's what I truly love and enjoy. So I thought it would be fun to film kind of these really informal manicure videos. Just every time I sit down to do my nails, I would film it and kind of talk about the things that I'm using, new products that I'm trying, and other things that are going on in my life. So I am due for a manicure tonight and I figured there's no time like the present to start this little series. I'm gonna do a gel manicure today. This is probably the most requested video or FAQ that I get. How do I do my own gel nails? What products do I use? My lamp and all that. So I'm gonna share that with you today. I want this to be really informal and fun and conversational. So I'm not gonna be like, you know, describing every single little thing I do, but I will show you kind of some of my tips and tricks for doing your own gel manicures at home. Now, if you can't tell, I sound a little congested. I've been getting over a cold, which really knocked me out for a few days, but I feel so much better. I just sound a little off, but that's okay. I took all of my polish off a little while ago. My nails, <laughs> my fingers look so ratchet and pale, but my nails are in pretty good shape uh, lengthwise. This one broke, so it's a little shorter than the rest, but other than that, I'm gonna do an oval manicure today. So to begin, I'm gonna start by buffing and shaping my nails. They don't really need too much of that. They're pretty much shaped and filed to my liking. But I'm going to start with this Beauty 360 file, which I really like. It's a CVS brand. And just kind of touch them up a tiny bit. So to make these videos more fun, I thought it would be cool to film in a location that is not my normal filming room. So normally I film in the office, I have my little backdrop set up there, but normally I do my nails in the basement, which is where I am right now. So all my nail stuff is down here, my light, all my products. I don't normally do them in this setup, I kind of am sitting behind where this camera is, but it was just easier to film this way. It's definitely hard to file your own nails, I don't really have many <laughs> tricks for doing it perfect, but take your time. Um, a lot of people say to file in one direction. I really don't do that. There's definitely some back and forth action, but I don't really notice any negative effects to that. I really don't file them too much, just just a bit when I'm starting a fresh mani. I feel like there's so many different things to talk about. Oh, I wanted to make a coffee. Totally forgot that. Probably like 6.30 right now, so I don't really need a coffee. I'm going out later, so I'm sure I'll be drinking other beverages. <laughs> Boy. So I tried a dip manicure a couple weeks before Christmas. It was my first one, and I wanted to go get it done professionally before I considered investing in a system myself. And to my surprise, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I wasn't a huge fan of the job that the tech did on my nails. I just I think they were a little too thick and I don't know, I wasn't totally pleased but the technique itself was really interesting and the mani held up very, very well. I did experience a little bit of lifting, which was my main concern, and I did experience it a bit quicker than people had said I would, definitely within like a one, one and a half week time frame. but overall, I was really happy about it. I loved how hard my nails were, they felt like acrylics, and if they were filed a little more aggressively or a little thinner, I think they would have looked a little more natural too. So anyway, with that said, I definitely wanna to try to do them myself at home. So I've been in touch with a couple of companies and I'm gonna to try to get my hands on some at home dip powder kits and hopefully have like a sit down mani chat video with one of those. I'm trying to think of a fun name for this series. Let me know if you have any suggestions. No one calls me Mandy, but I thought it would be cute to be like, Manny's with Mandy, like on Mondays. I'd love to get these videos up on Monday. So like Monday Manny with Mandy, that I can't even say it. Too much of a tongue twister. All right, we're almost done with this file. Last finger. Are you guys square, squoll, round, or almond, or coffin? Like what's your favorite nail shape? I love the ovals. I just feel like they make my fingers look so much more feminine. Kind of have like big knuckly fingers, but when I have like long round nails, they look really sweet and girly. Okay, so give them a once over. If there's any that look a little off, Now's a good time to correct them. And then you're going to take a buffing cube. Now, I don't like to buff my nails. People don't really recommend it just because, you know, you're taking a layer off. It's making them less hard and less durable. So I'm going to just use this very, very fine grip buff to just lightly remove the shine. So it's going to help smooth it out 
just a bit, lightly remove the shine, and prep the finger for polish. When I do my gel manis, I do them one hand at a time, so I'm gonna start with my left hand. But I am gonna prep all the nails right now. So once that's done, I'll go in and take a peek at my cuticles. Now, cuticle maintenance is huge for me on a daily basis. I use cuticle oils all day, every day. I keep my hands really moisturized. I'm constantly pushing my cuticles back so that I don't have to clip or really maintain them. They're kind of being constantly maintained. So I'm gonna take this little, I don't know what these are called, this like little half moon tool and just push them back a little. They don't really have much pushing back to do, but that's what I'm gonna do. Once that's done, I'm going to rinse my hands, wash them really well to get all those little fuzzies off, and then we're gonna jump right into the polish. So give me one second. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if this is ideal or not because you can't really see exactly what I'm doing. Maybe I'll move the camera down when I start to paint so you can kind of get a better view. Nails are dry. So one of the things I really like to do when I am using a UV light is wear a glove. It's important to do as much as we can to protect our hands. I'm not a huge fan of shoving my hand in that UV light every month. Um, I probably do it every two to three weeks. But a while back, I bought these little gloves, super cheap at Walmart, a dollar maybe, and I cut the fingertips off. So I just put this on, look like a little Billy Badass. I just use that. So let me move this down. So you can kind of see my nails. So here they are, they're all clean, they're polished, they're buffed, they're filed. Or they're not polished, I revoke that. Um, and they're ready to go. So, so for my gel manicures, I use all gelish products. You can get them online or they're available at Sally's Beauty Supply, which is where I usually go to pick them up. I'm gonna start with the pH bond here. And this is just gonna help polish adhere to the nail. Move that over. I should get a little closer. And you don't have to be precise with this. It's really just a drying agent to make sure the nails are clean and ready to roll. From there, I'm gonna take the Gelish foundation and apply it to my nails. Now, the most important thing when applying gel polish is to keep it away from the cuticle. So I'm gonna apply in really thin layers as close to the cuticle as I can without touching it. If you touch the cuticle, you're gonna experience a little lifting and that's gonna make your manicure fall apart much quicker. Another thing I don't do when I do my nails is cap the edge um, with gel. That is not something that I like to do. All right, so I wanted to talk about just like random life stuff while I did this because I thought it would be fun. Um, I think one of the biggest things going on in my life right now is I started watching Game of Thrones and I never, in a million years thought I would be a Game of Thrones girl. Like ever, 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 ever. But the show is actually pretty darn good. So my boyfriend got me into it. I guess a new season is coming out, so he wanted to rewatch the entire series. And he's like, let's watch it together. I was like, mm, that's really sweet. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I gave it a shot. I was like, all right, let's watch one episode. And it really wasn't bad. The plot is just so intense. The storylines are so in depth and intertwined and characters are all so interesting. And it's just, it's a really good show. I'm kind of shocked that he got me to watch it. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, let me know like what season I have to look forward to. We just finished the first season last night and I just watched like the first couple episodes of the second, so still at the very very beginning and i have to say i was really upset when they killed ned <laughs> like it actually it made me so sad for a really long time i had a hard time getting over that that little blonde kid i can't stand him jeffrey i hope he has like the worst death of them all he's such a little snot such a baby sansa was kind of annoying too but now she doesn't like jeffrey so that's cool i liked ned i think he was my favorite and now he's dead so that sucks i always look at my nails to see if there's any polish touching the cuticle, just kind of clean it up, and then they're ready for the light. So my UV light is right over here. So I don't know where my camera just died, but um, I just put my nails in to be cured. So the base coat is applied. The UV lamp that I use has a two and three minute setting, so I usually just cure every coat for two minutes. So the base coat is curing right now, and once that is set, we are going to put the first coat of color on. So yeah, I was talking about Game of Thrones. I don't know where I left off. I don't know, it's a really good show, so I'm honestly shocked that I'm watching it. But anyway, all right, let me put this up. 
So let me know what kind of like mani videos you want to see. I'm definitely doing a dip powder once I get a kit. I'm going to probably try a bunch of dip powders to be honest. There's so many on the market. I just found out that Jellish had one as well, which I feel like I should definitely try because I'm such a Jellish like fanatic. I'm bringing this back down because it's time for color. It's going to be a little like tacky. Don't touch it. I decided to use this polish. I'm Snow Angel. It's such a beautiful brown auburn with a little bit of like shimmer glitter in it. Roll it. I haven't used it in a while, but it's so gorgeous. Again, you want to do really thin coats and stay away from the cuticle. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, it's a little holiday, but I actually did light pink nails for the holiday, which was very untraditional. So I feel like I'm just making up for lost time. While we're in the winter, we can get away with all these reds, deeper shades, but I just love this color so much. So pretty. Sometimes I feel like the glove rides up a little bit, which I don't want to happen. Come on, camera, stay focused. Oh, so pretty, okay. Now do the thumb, try not to ruin the others. All right, so this thumb, if you can see, flooded the nail bed just a little, so I'm gonna take my other finger and clean it out. And now they're ready to cure. I'm gonna pop these into the light for two minutes. <clears throat> Um, what else is going on? So yeah, I was really sick last week for, I don't know, about five days. I haven't gotten that sick in a long, long time, but I'm finally recovering. Now I just have a, it's like a runny slash stuffy nose. I don't know, I have to keep blowing it, but my nose has been so dry from blowing it so much and I've been using the Aquaphor healing ointment. I'm doing a campaign with them. But I have used their products like multiple times in the past. This one just happened to come at like the perfect time because it's been saving my nose and my lips. Both have been super, super dry. Also my heels. So I've been like lathering that stuff all over my body. I don't know if I want to film the whole second hand on camera. I don't think so. That's just going to be like a waste of time because I'm going to be doing the same thing. But I'll come back when it's all done. A lot of like new stuff in my like, professional life. So obviously this is like a new series that I'm launching but I really want to change up my blog the way that it operates the kind of content that I post this year I just want to get back to doing things for fun and really be more selective about the campaigns and collaborations I agree to just because my priorities have kind of shifted all right these are done so these are gonna be um, tacky too do not touch them and we're gonna add the second coat so yeah I think I'm gonna be just changing a lot of things up this year because my goals and priorities have kind of shifted and to get to where I want to be I've got to make a couple changes which to be honest I'm really excited about so this new year is just bringing a lot of new opportunity and growth and I'm excited about it I definitely am I can't get over this polish it's so so beautiful this is probably one of my favorite darker hues from Jellish in the red family and just in general just wears so beautifully and I normally don't like anything with shimmer in it but two coats of this is just absolutely stunning it's just really rich but yeah I've been on a white nail kick lately like a light pink and white polish and that's like all I wanted to wear but my nails are so or not my nails, my fingers are so pale this time of year that those colors don't really complement them that well. So I've actually been self tanning my hands, which I could do a whole video on that because it really does work and it really does help, but it's kind of a pain. All right, how gorgeous are these? Like, are those not the prettiest red nails? Into the light they go. Two minutes. And then we finish with the top coat. So we're almost there. Once the second coat of color is finished curing, I'm gonna be using the Gelish Top It Off, which is their top coat. I really like this stuff. It's gonna make them look really shiny and complete the mani, so. A thin coat of this as well. And again, make sure you don't flood the nail bed, you don't touch the cuticle. You will notice the brush might pull a little of the color off. Don't be concerned. 
it's fine. I heard somewhere that the sticky top coat when you do a gel manicure, um, like after you cure, that is technically uncured polish, which I don't understand why the topmost layer would be sticky, but I don't use like the finishing solution until the very end to remove the sticky layer. I don't know if some people might do it throughout, but I just do it at the very end. I'm so happy to have like fresh nails again. I loved my last mini actually, but it was just like starting to lift and drive me crazy. So I actually, before filming this, I filmed a removal video of how I remove my gel manicure. So that will go up probably after this video, but just so you can see how I do it because I really can't stand that like cotton ball foil method. It does not work for me. It's so much effort and I don't know. I like the way I do it better. All right, so that's done and into the light they go for two minutes. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really excited about that video as well because a lot of people have had questions about how to remove their gel without damaging the nail and it's totally doable. I also successfully removed my dip at home without damaging my nails. A lot of people said that was nearly impossible, but if I get around to applying dip, I'll be sure to show you how I remove that as well. But Oh, so let me show you this solution. So the nail cleansing solution is what you're going to use once the top coat is done curing. This is actually Gelish's formula. I just have it in an OPI bottle because I liked the squirt. So using that and a cotton round, you're going to remove the sticky tacky top layer and your nails will basically be done. I have to leave in like a half an hour so hopefully I can bang out the other hand pretty quickly. Almost there. I'm so excited. The best part about gel nails were done <clears throat> is that once they're done they're done like you you can go out the door so I take this I put my fingers together like this and I just kind of spread them how they look so large <laughs> at that angle and then I use the cotton round to just polish each one now I squirt a little bit more and then go back and do it again That's it. <clears throat> they are done. Then I take the Gelish Nourish Cuticle Oil. Put it in my cuticles. Rub it in. And then you're good to go. How awesome do those look? So pretty, right? I'm gonna do the other hand really quickly off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, my nails are done. I love the feeling of a fresh manicure. Like there's nothing that feels as good as freshly painted nails. So this is Gelish I'm Snow Angel. It looks beautiful. Excuse my like big white chunky knuckly fingers. I don't have the most feminine of hands, but how gorgeous does this look? They're completely dry, super shiny, and I'll probably get a good two weeks out of this mani before I'm ready to switch it up. But thank you guys for tuning in and for watching. Let me know if you like this, if you like sitting down and watching me do my nails and chit chat. I think it'd be cool to like have a topic of conversation for every video so that we keep it interesting and keep it moving. I can update you a little bit about what's going on in my life, but I think it's fun to talk about things that sort of relate to everyone, but I'm so happy. I'm just so happy my nails are done. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to start filming more things like this just because it's easy and it's fun and it's something that I really truly enjoy and hopefully I'll be able to like finesse the filming setup. It'd be cool to do some like aerial angles. I know I have the capabilities to do that. I have the tools and like tripods to set up that way. I just didn't really feel like doing all that today. But as we move on, we will experiment with new setups, new tools, new products, new filming equipment and all that good stuff. So anyway, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And if you are interested in seeing more, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.